Hey guys, this is Kippy and Olivia here coming at you live from Florida. I hope y'all are having a great day. We're having a great day because we're crafting up some lanterns from some recycled cans. So you remember I've been telling y'all to keep these cans and make sure you keep the pop top. And we're going to get this thing going. Olivia's already started. She used her Rust-Oleum and she's going to be showing you how she got that going using a can. And what's the first step, Olivia? What's the first step that you do? First, you want to empty the can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then you want to down that water. <laughs> wash it out, and you want to fill it with water to freeze it in the freezer. And then you want to cut it. All right. So I'm going to move this jazz out of her way because she has a system. Very technical, so you definitely want to pay great attention to it. And you can see it's an old, it's a rag towel. <laughs> and, an old, and an old towel. This is full of ice. It's, it's cold. It's really cold, which is why I have these towels here. And Kinda. this is just a regular oh. X-Acto knife, nothing special, just if you have an X-Acto knife. Probably don't want to let the kids do this part, but they could definitely spray paint them, right? So you don't want to spray paint it until I probably wouldn't give spray paint until you make these. Yeah. So tell them how, how you decide on just uh, kind of eyeballing yeah, between just the kinda lines. Yeah, kind of eyeball it. Now how it's hard is that down. to cut? I haven't done one of these yet. It's not too bad, but you want to be careful because they can uh, crack. Okay, so. so is that can can we see is that open or? I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, I can definitely feel that that's cut yeah. through. Okay, cool. So I just kind of eyeball how thick I want the strip to be and I just kind of use a ruler as a straight edge. Make it a little easier to cut it. Easy part, right? It's just something, you know, you took out of your recycle and you're going to make it into the, some, uh, we're going to be using for backyard, like backyard party. I ordered some solar and I'm going to put those in my jars and I did those last year and I'll show that to you in a second, but I, so we're, and I also ordered some of these. These are um, battery operated because we're going to, and I, I got some that are, um, that you can use, you know, that have a timer on them, which are the best because you don't have to keep taking things down to redo them. Of course, my favorite are these. We'll be putting these out probably we'll do them for Halloween. Okay, so we're going to put some solar in there. Interrupt again, and here's the one that I'm going to use the solar rechargeable um, tea lights in. So those, I'll hang those out there too. We've just been using the wax ones, and it's kind of a horrific mess, to be honest. So they're so pretty, and then what a mess you're left with. So to get the wax out of that, and I don't know how it end up being such a mess, but this way it'll be neat and clean, and I can use them over and over. Yep. So that's how you cut that. And after you cut it, you want to let it melt. And after it's dry you're gonna uh, spray paint it so what we did was we took this piece of wire and we hung it up in a tree and did uh, several coats of spray paint on it then we just i went back over it once again with my knife just to make sure all of my cuts were all the way through and then starts the fun part. So basically, for this, you're just gonna work on bending those strips so they create sort of a, a curve. Um, so it requires some um, bending and holding in place. Um, it's kind of a patience tester a little bit. Um, so you wanna make sure all of your strands are sticking outward. There we go. <laughs> Getting some really good squish in there. <laughs> this is when I realized that my gentleness was not doing very much, so you really have to get in there and do it, but you want to be careful not to completely crush the can at the same time. It's a balance. 
So once I'm happy with how I have the curve, I'm gonna take my little light and I'm just going to carefully shove my fingers and the light in between the little cuts and pop that guy back out. Get it straightened up inside there. And we're all good to go. Perfect. Olivia, that turned out super cute. I love these. They're just from little cans, so it doesn't really cost you anything. I did order some, some new little tea lights, so y'all want to check those out. They are battery operated, but they have a remote control, so you don't have to take them back out. And then I also ordered some that are solar, so they recharge and they just come on every night. And it's going to be so cute. So please follow us, and we will see you soon. Thank you so much for joining us.